Namaste everyone. Welcome to Siddhi Yoga. I am Tara and today we are in beginner yoga journey day 3. We'll be focusing on energizing the energy channels, awakening the consciousness for the new beginning. So prepare your yoga mat, get your comfy clothes and let's get started. Trayambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti varadhanam uruvarukamiva bandhanat mrityor mokshiyam amrita Welcome again. Slowly move your legs forward. Feel them how they are moving and give support to your spine with your palms. Give a strong foundation with your palms to lift the spine up. Now shake your legs to awaken the energy into your legs, energizing your muscles, your joints. And now Tilting your right foot to the right, giving excellent rotations to the right femur bone and slowly bending the right knee. Same we do with the left, giving excellent rotations to the left femur bone and bending the left leg. The sole of the both feet are meeting to each other and now shifting yourself forward. Your hands are going to meet your feet, interlacing your fingers and then place your palms underneath of your feet. Now your feet and palms has meet each other. Move your feet in some more, pressing your feet down, spreading your knees out to the side, lifting your spine up. You can adjust your hips to feel your sit bone. And now you can move your arms and shoulders to feel that your shoulders are relaxed, your neck is relaxed. Inhale, lengthen your spine up. Exhale, try moving your knees and thighs some more down deeper into the pose. And now close your eyes and shake your legs up and down in butterfly movement, Tithli Asana. Butterfly is a very connecting pose. This is one of the poses where you get the chance to bring your palms and feet together. Generally, they have two different works. Hence, they do their job, feet are doing their job. But this is one of the practice where your hands are feet. The both feet and both hands, the both palms connect with each other. In the butterfly movements, you are connecting to your hip joint, the joint of your hip and the lower abdomen is the place of emotions. So you're really connecting to yourself during your butterfly, during your bound angle position. Now open your eyes. Extending your right leg forward, moving your left foot in, placing underneath of your right inner thigh. Watch your right leg, the top of your right thigh, knee, shin bone and second toe should be in one line. If you're activating your right leg, because right leg has to be strong and connected. For that, you're pressing your right heel down, lifting your quads and kneecap up, pressing your right thigh down. Make sure you're not going to lift your heel off the mat. From here, inhaling, raising your arms up, give a nice extension to your arms and the shoulder. With exhalation, slowly, gently lean forward. And now try to grab your foot. If you cannot grab your foot, have your hands down on the floor, lengthening your spine up and look forward with a smile. Shoulders are rolled back. If you have some strap, towel, any clothes next to you, you can use the towel and clothes to hold your foot. So you have the options to using a strip or towel or you can place your palms down. If you're flexible enough, you can hold your foot directly, front or the waist. Okay, now inhale, lengthening your spine up, 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 up. Feel the lengthening up into your spinal vertebra. Shoulders are rolling back and down. Exhaling, moving your belly closer to your thigh as far as your body allows. Then chest closer to your knee. 
if you can go more deeper into the pose from here then your forehead is coming closer to your shin bone otherwise keep your head lifted and look forward stay connected with the straight back pose hold and breathe keeping the spine straight is more important than going more deeper into the pose or bringing the forehead down close to the shin bone so try maintaining the straight back pose feel the length in your spine in your spinal vertebra now inhaling raising your arms up exhale hands down we are going to do parshva janu shirsasana so after janu shirsasana forward extension we are moving the right leg to the side this is the position called parshva side and now this time your left heel is coming close to your left inner thigh all right so two movement we are going to do one is the forward extension towards the right foot the second is the lateral extension towards the right foot now prepare yourself inhale raising your both arms up exhale right hands on top of your left thigh and lean towards your right foot with the left arms extended nice extending your left arm next to your ear you can be here you can stretch your arms some more down also you can grab your big toe foot outer edge and rotate your chest up so whichever position works for you stay and hold nice now inhale stretching your arms and come up exhale hands down inhale raising your both arms up and turning your torso towards your right leg exhaling leaning forward this what the body allows lean forward hands down shoulders roll back inhale raising your arms up now let's go directly from here to lateral extension now with exhalations slowly lean towards your right leg inhale coming up and raising your arms up again turning your torso towards your right leg exhale lean forward feel the flow how the body is floating inhale arms up exhale right hand stop to your left thigh extending your left arm next to your ear and lean towards the right inhale up now both arms up swing your arms up turning to your right leg exhale lean forward towards your right nice one more inhale up exhale nice long lateral extension inhaling coming up both arms up exhale arms down so same practice we are going to do other side slowly moving your right leg in then left leg forward bending your right leg placing your right foot under left inner thigh your left leg should be straight and active straight means top of your thigh top of the knee shin bone and the second toe should be in one line always follow the instructions to understand the correct alignment of the body to maximizing the benefit of asanas now to activate the legs pressing your heel down pulling your quads and knee cap up press the back of your thigh down inhaling raising your arms up long inhalation with exhalation start leaning forward hands down towards the floor shoulders are rolled back and down your palms can be down can be holding your foot from the center both positions are fine or you can use the strap or towel whichever you wants to use now inhale lengthening your spine up from the lower back feel the space in your spinal vertebra the spine is lifting lengthening nice chest open exhale walk your hands more forward or try taking yourself deeper into the pose as far the body allows go deeper into the pose feel the pose and enjoy enjoy the long hamstring stretch here and now inhale head up raising your arms and coming up exhale arms down from here we are moving the left leg towards the left and moving the right foot heel underneath of the right inner thigh so preparing for the side movement get ready inhaling raising the arms up so ready for the flow exhale left hands over your right thigh and lean towards your left 
rotate your chest up as far the body allows give a nice extension to the right side of your torso inhale coming up both arms up now turning your torso towards your left thigh try keeping your left leg straight and active exhale lean forward as far the body allows leaning forward inhaling raising your arms and come up exhale left hand top up to your right thigh so keeping your right arms extended next to the ear and lean towards the left inhale up both arms up exhale lean forward towards your left inhale up now left hands down exhale give a nice lateral extension inhale up exhale turning your torso towards your left thigh and lean forward inhale up exhale lateral extension give a nice extension towards your right side of your torso and come up inhale both arms up exhale arms down now moving your left leg in from here shifting yourself into tabletop position we are going to do cat and cow pose the cat and cow there are two poses but when we combine them it's a dynamic movement practice happens we call the ga marjari asana in sanskrit your palms are shoulder width distance apart knees are hip width distance apart your wrist is directly below your shoulder same with your knee your knee is directly below your hip and now from here with inhalation tilt your pelvis forward lifting your tailbone up expanding your belly down chest down lifting your head up nicely arching your back shoulders are rolled back and down with exhalation head goes down chest moves in rolling your buttocks under tuck the tailbone and lift the mid back higher up again inhaling tilting your pelvis forward expanding the belly down chest down and head up exhaling head goes down chest moves in rolling your buttocks under tuck the tailbone and lift the mid back up good inhale tilting your pelvis forward lifting the tailbone up spending the belly and chest down and head up nicely arching your back exhale head down chest in rolling your buttocks under tuck the tailbone and lift the mid back up one more inhale nicely arching your back exhale rounding your back very good your big toes are moving close to each other knees are wide open now sit down move your buttocks down on your heels look forward lifting your spine up some of you may not be able to bring your buttocks on your heels you can use some uh, soft towel or blanket underneath of your buttocks you can also use the cushions underneath of your buttocks to uh, to fill the distance between your heel and the buttocks and now looking forward hands down breathe in and breathe out slowly walk your hands forward give a nice length to your arms to your shoulder open up your armpit your palms are wider than your shoulder to provide good enough space around your neck and now lengthening your spine forward moving your chest down and forehead down we are in child pose balasana stay here maintain this pose for a couple of breath feel the nice extension to your spine stretch to your arms to your shoulder if you have a tight shoulder would be nice if you lift your fingers up the position might be challenging but this this position is good for your shoulder and the shoulder is a place of responsibility if you do work out for your shoulders you will see more relaxed in your head in your body now inhaling lifting your head up walk your palms in to come up now moving your knees in we are going to get back into table top position now we are going to do tiger pose vyagrahasana so prepare your table top position same as before and now from here with inhalation raising your right leg up with the bending knee extending your ankles up expanding your belly down chest down and head up nicely arching your back exhale roll on your spine moving your thigh closer to your belly 
knee closer to your chair and head down closer to your knee. Inhale, again lifting your right leg up, nicely arching your back. Here you make sure your thigh, the right thigh stays rolled in, hip square. Exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, lifting your leg up, nicely arching your back. Spending the belly down, chest down and head up. Exhale, rounding your spine by moving your knee close to your chest, head down close to your knee. Again, inhale, arch. Exhale, nicely rounding the spine. One more, inhale, arch. Exhale, nicely rounding the spine. And slowly come back. Let's take some time for the wrist to get relaxed. So knees together, sit back, sitting in Thunderbolt pose, fingers together, wrist close to each other, elbows together, and then swing your wrist, both sides. Give a nice movement massage to your wrist. Vyagrasana and Gaumarjariyasana, one of the best practice to awaken the energy channels by moving the spine in a certain directions. To follow the spinal, uh, spinal arches movement like the concave and convex part of the spine. All right, so let's start again. Get back to tabletop position, palms are shoulder width distance apart. Check your knees, your knees are hip width distance apart. Also make sure your inner elbow faced in, so there is no hyper extension in your elbows. Now, inhaling, raising your left leg up without tilting your hip. Your hip stays square, thigh should be rolled in, nicely arching your back. Exhale, rounding your spine, moving your knee and forehead close to each other. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round and slowly come down. From here, walk your hands forward. Your palms are wider than your shoulders. Keep extending your arms forward, lengthening your arms, moving your chest down and forehead down. You must make sure your palms are wider than your shoulders. So there's enough space around your neck and your shoulders. Bring the more activation into your arms. You are rolling your biceps out, pressing your palms down. If you are having much pressure on your patella, make sure you are using a blanket underneath of your knees or try sifting your buttocks slightly back towards your heel to sift the pressure towards the shin bone. Keep breathing. Now lifting your head up. Walk your palms in. We are going to do twist in child pose. Now extending your left arm forward, your arms moves into the middle. From here with inhalation, lifting your right arm to the side. Exhale, inserting your right hands under your left and head goes down towards the mat. Now move your left palm in. Press your left palm, try stretching your right arm more towards your left to twist more deeper into the pose. Keeping your left palm pressed on the floor, stay Hold, enjoy your pose and breathe. Inhale, push the mat, slowly come up. Exhale, returning back to tabletop pose. Let's do the same twist, other side. Extending your right arm forward into the middle. Inhaling, stretching your left arm to the side. Exhaling, inserting your left arms under your right. Now head goes down towards the mat. So you're turning your head to your left. Now moving your right palm in closer to your left. Press the floor and try stretching your left arm more towards the left to twist more deeper into the pose. Stay keeping your right palm pressed to support. Hold and breathe. Enjoy the pose. Very good. 
Now inhale, press your right palm on the floor and slowly lifting yourself up, returning back to tabletop. And now from here, move your knees in and sit back. We are going to do Shashank Asana, rabbit pose. Inhale, lifting your heart up, shoulders roll back and down. Exhaling, lean forward. Now, have your palms next to your knees. Press your palms. Inhale, roll on your head. You're going to bring your crown down of the mat and raising your buttocks up. After you get here, try to lift the mid back higher up. If possible, try grabbing your calf muscles one by one. Extending your toes to the back, press your feet down, rounding your spine some more, tucking your tailbone in. Hold and breathe. Nice. After a couple of breaths here, inhaling, slowly lower your hip. Move your hands next to your legs, forehead down. Now have your palms next to your legs. Press your palms and slowly come up. From here we are moving into downward facing dog. Extending your arms forward. Your palms are met with distance apart. Fingers are spread. Your pinky finger is touching the outer edge of your yoga mat. Then lifting your buttocks up. Tucking your toes in and raise your buttocks higher up. Adjust your feet and your palms. Your feet is hip width distance apart and palm stays met with distance apart. Very good. Let's awaken the hamstring. So extending your back of your legs down towards the heel. Heels are extended down towards the mat. Try lifting your toes off the mat if possible. Good. Now press your toes down, lifting your heel up. Inhale. Exhale, tilting your both feet towards the left side of your mat. Giving a nice extension to the right side of your torso. Stretch to your, the back of your leg and the clothes. Inhale, returning back to the center, keeping your heel lifted. Exhale, tilting your both heels, both your feet to your right. Palms are pressed, keeping your shoulders and torso lifted. Inhale up. Exhale one more time, turning your both feet to your right. Inhale up. Exhale, turning your both feet to your left. Inhale, coming back to the center. And now look forward, bending your knees. Walk your feet forward, closer to your palms. With your tiny, tiny steps, slowly walk closer to your palm. Nice. Feet down on the mat, Sip the pressure towards your feet, lifting your palms off the mat. Now grabbing your biceps, relaxing your arms and your shoulder, head and your neck. Now if possible, slowly straightening your knee. Nice. Stay here. Feel the pose. Hold. Stay connected to your pose and keep breathing. Four folds are calming poses. Stay and breathe. Keep breathing. And now maintain this position. Pressing your left heel down. Slowly bending your right knee. It's just a little bend and feel the extension to the back of your left thigh. And now right heel down. Bending your left knee and feel the stretch on the back of your right leg. Switch again. Left heel down, bending your right. Give a nice stretch to the back of your left thigh. Switch. Right heel down, bending your left. Giving a nice stretch to the left thigh. And come down. Now open your arms. Hand goes down. And slowly bending your knees and walk back into downward facing dog. Nice. Dropping your knees down from here. Slowly moving your chest down towards the mat. Now flatten your feet. Rolling your buttocks under, moving the pubic bone down. Moving your forehead down on the mat. We are preparing for cobra pose. 
So extending your ankles to the back, active your thighs, the pelvis tucked under, the pubic bone moves down towards the mat, your palms are close to your upper chest, elbow close to your body, forehead down. Inhale, pressing your palms and raising your chest up, rolling your shoulders back and down away from the ears. Legs are extended to the back and chest is moving forward. Enjoy the stretch in your back and cobra pose. Now lower your chest. Exhale. We'll be doing one more time cobra with a happy cobra smile. Inhale, press your palms on the floor. Raising your chest up, shoulders are rolled back and down, stretching your legs to the back, engage your thigh and move your chest forward. Nice smile on your face and lower your chest. Now moving your feet out to the side, one by one, and then move your forearm to the front. Your shoulders are rolled back, your chest is moving forward, pelvis stuck under. Nicely spread your fingers. Look forward and smile again, breathe in. With exhalations, turning your both shoulders towards your right and try to look at your right feet. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, turning your both shoulders towards your left. Try to see your left heel. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale right, inhale center, exhale left. Now inhaling back to the center. From here, move your elbows some more to the front and then have your palms under your cheeks. Support your jaw and resting your head on your palm. Now close your eyes. If you feel from here, you can move your elbows forward or in, you can always adjust. According where you feel comfortable, you can also adjust your legs where you feel comfortable. Now feel your pose and feel relaxed. The backward extension poses are the energizing pose for the energy channel. Is it easy backward extension or the deeper backward extension? The backward extension follows the spine. And your spine follows the nerves. Your nerves move through your spine. So the spine is a protector of the body and the nerves. This is the most safest place in our body. And the most sensitive place in the body. When you practice to open up your spine doing forward extension, backward extension, you awaken your energy channels. And when your energy channels are awakened, the energy who gives you confidence, who gives you trust, who gives you love to yourself and for others, it awakens. Now from here, move your palms in we want to lie on the back so first move your feet in as well and then from here extending your right arm forward and turn around to lie on your back after lying on the back bending your knees and hug your legs Breathe in and breathe out, pulling your knee closer to your chest in Abhanasana. Give a nice stretch to your back. Close your eyes. You must feel yourself like hugging. Hug yourself nicely. Nice. Now placing your hands on top of your knees and start rotating your knee in clockwise direction. And then rotate your knee anti-clockwise direction. Yeah. 
and now in the end lifting your feet up crep the outer edge of your both feet open your feet wider knees are bent we are in happy baby pose so have the good and nice smile on your face try sifting your buttocks down towards the mat rolling your shoulders back and chest open with a happy smile with a happy positions roll your body from the right to left and left to the right Now back to the center, feet are moving close to each other, move your feet down. Now open your arms to the side, shoulder level, palm face down. From here, press your feet, move your buttocks slightly off the mat and then shifting your buttocks towards your right, inhale lifting your knees up close to your chest, exhale dropping your knees down close to your left armpit. And then placing your left hands on top of your thighs. Inhale here. Exhale. Press your thighs down against each other. And turning your head to your right. Do a nice twist and the stretch in your back. We are practicing Jathar Parivartasana. Now inhale, turning your head to look up. Open your left arm to the side and slowly lifting your knees up, walk your feet back to the center and then shift your buttocks back to the center. Let's do the same twist other side. To do the twist other side, shift your buttocks first towards your left, inhale lifting your knees up closer to your chest, exhale dropping your both knees down close to your right armpit. And then placing your left hands on top of your thigh, inhale, exhale pressing your thigh down, and turning your head to your left. Stay, enjoy the stretch and the twist. Make sure your left shoulder stays closer to the mat and stays rolled back. Very good. Now open your right hands to the side. Inhale, lifting your knees up. Walk your feet back to the center. Move your buttocks back to the center. And now moving your hands in, turn to your right side of your body, inhale, slowly take side and come up to the sitting. Take your time to move, move slowly. Sit in comfortable seated pose with straight back. Adjust your pose so you can feel your sit bone. Spine is lengthening up, arms and shoulders are relaxed, eyes closed. Allow your heart to open, shoulders to relax, feel connected, feel calm and feel relaxed. Now bring your palms together into the heart center, gently bow your head. All the dreams in our life comes from our lower energy channels. All the creativity happens in our life, whatever we do in a creative life, it happens from the central energy channels. All the decisions we make, right or wrong, all comes from the higher energy channels. So move your awareness deep inside you. Connect to your lower energy channels, which is in your lower abdomen area, it is the place of the knowledge, dreams, hopes, and creation. So, whatever word you see outside, it lives inside you. The whole world, what comes into the manifestations, into the reality, it begins from our inside, from deep inside of our consciousness. 
Now feel that your consciousness from your lower abdomen area is lifting up and uprising towards the center energy channels to your heart. Now that hope and dreams are pushing you to move forward in, our, in your life. Now feel that the energy from the lower abdomen now feel the energy which has lift and moved into your heart chakra, giving you directions, pushing you forward into your life, telling you to go on, move on, giving you confidence, trust and love to yourself, to your life. And now, this is the time to take a decision. So allow this energy to go up higher towards the higher energy channels, connect to your third eye between your eyebrows to your Arjuna Chakra. Now try to see what you want to become for your own self, the person you want. Try to see your image to see your reality into your third eye. What do you want to do next in your rest of the day or tomorrow or after a week, after a month or year and after a year in your whole life? Bring the vision into your third eye. See the picture of your life image yourself as better as you can, as better you want. Now be thankful and also surrender yourself to the nature. We can only a dream to do our karma and what results come it is not in our hand the trust should be there inside our heart in order to be detached from happiness and from unhappiness from sorrow from jealous from anger and other bad things now gently bow your head Gently rub your palms, activate the energy, whichever energy you want for your life, activate that energy, feel that energy into your palms. Now placing your palms to your face to receive that energy. And this is our new beginning. Slowly move your hands to your head, to your ear, neck, down to your shoulder, arms your chest, belly, low back and the rest of your body. After you complete palms together again, have a positive, happy, loveful smile on your face and gently open your eyes. Namaste.